With input prices escalating and food shortages throughout the world, canola farmers are on a quest for better yields. The quest for the canola crown. Through in-crop management and advancing agronomy practices, several of the most unique farmers from across Canada are reaching for record-breaking yields, even while facing the tough growing conditions of the true north. Raven Industries has a vision to feed a growing world population using innovative technology. With farmers today under constant pressure to produce more with less, Raven is helping growers maximize yields and return on investment through technology and innovation. Today, they're bringing their driverless power platform, OmniPower, with a cedar implement to plant some canola at G&H Grain Farms in Yorkton. Hi, I'm Chris Morrison with Raven Industries. This is my colleague, Tim Ottenbright. It's a beautiful June day here. We're just outside of Yorkton, Saskatchewan at Bill & Co. Gorey's Farm. Raven's excited to be here and show you some of our autonomous technology that we've been working on. Uh, behind us, we have OmniPower working away in the field. We're doing uh, a demo out here. I think we're going to seed about 150 acres of canola. So what, what I kind of planned out here is that it's going to start on this end, work its way up around, and then come back down and finish kind of almost to where we started. Now the machine's moving autonomously. It's flashing its orange beacons. Really handy thing about this is if you have a conventional machine in the same field, lots of guys will usually do their headlands while OmniPower is doing the ABs back and forth or the other way around. Most of the canola being grown in the world right now is happening in Western Canada, or at least one of the huge bread baskets for it is Western Canada. One of the huge challenges we have in Western Canada is we have an extremely short growing season. We literally need every growing degree day that we can squeeze out of snow to snow to get a canola crop through. So I think we've gotten extremely proficient at doing it to the ability that we can with the yields that we get now. Uh, things like one pass seeding or zero till seeding, putting all of our fertilizer on, uh, the time of seeding, staying off the field for as many passes as we can. It's made us very efficient at getting this job done in a short growing season. The little bit of a break we do have is usually in July in Western Canada when the sprayers slow down and we can kind of take a breath. If we're going to start yield chasing, we're going to be busy then too. We're going to be topping up our, our fertility programs. Uh, we're constantly going to be out in the field. Plus, we also have to keep challenging agronomic processes. So if the best time to spray this product is when it's cool and in the middle of the night, we're going to have to start adopting that if we want to truly push yields to, the, to their max. We're already short on labor. We're going to have to get machines, whether they be full autonomous or whether they be buddy machines, we're going to need those extra passes. You know, there's lots of technologies that still need to be adopted into the realm of being full autonomous. You know, there's sensors and perception and, and all that is going to take a lot of years before it's perfected and, and that full trust to, you know, be able to leave this machine in the field and, and go for lunch essentially. So it's going to be a fun journey as we progress into that. The first computer I remember having in our house was uh, an old 888. It ran off DOS and beeped and clanged away and it didn't do one one hundredth of what my new computer does that we grabbed from the local big box store, but it was way more difficult to run. And that's just the natural progression. As products become more mainstream and, and available, they become easier to run and and the engineers spend more time with end user customers and farmers and understand how they want this stuff to go. So it's, it's a huge takeaway that people need to understand that even though this is probably going to be intimidating when you first think about an autonomous machine moving around your field, at the same time it's, it's very, very easy and intuitive once you start using it and interacting with this software. 
Raven's tagline is we solve great challenges and it's going to be exciting times in the next few years how all of this technology starts to really merge and we can start to yield push uh, crops like canola and, and some of the other somewhat specialty crops across the world uh, really to make our, our customers more profitable and, and find these best practices.